Hey everybody, this is Jason from Blue Weather. Like this video, subscribe below if you like weather related information. Also, don't forget that Blue Weather is on Facebook.com for daily updates. All right, guys, let's get into it. For a good while, I've been trying to track when we possibly might get a first frost. Um, I was hoping that it was going to be this weekend here, but it's still staying mild. But as we look throughout the models here, if you look out towards next Friday, the October October the uh, the fourth, it shows on this GSF model as a daytime high of of in the fifties here in uh, West Virginia, some fifties in Virginia, some some sixties just east of the Blue Ridge. Now you probably can't take these literally, but you can see that it's there's a lot of 50s in there uh the high terrain obviously cooler than that now if you look at the overnight temperatures on saturday morning october the 5th uh the gsf model is showing that could see some frost there anything in the light blue is below freezing uh so those some of those particular areas could actually see a freeze if that was the case but this is only one model now as we look at the next day here on the gsf again you see right widespread 50s and some low 60s now the canadian model for that same friday october the 4th shown low 50s and then some 60s in virginia and 70s down in north carolina Still, even on this map, it was showing some areas maybe not even hitting 50. But we're still, that's, you know, that's 10 days out. So, nothing set in stone. Just trying to give you guys an idea of what the models are kind of putting out there. Uh, this here is the, uh, you can see here on the GSF for the air temperature. You can see how it's showing around October 4th, a trough coming down over here on the East Coast, bringing that cold air in. in. And you also see that here on the Canadian, just not as cold as on this GSF model. But I'll be continuing to monitor this to see when our first freezer frost is. Guys, y'all have a good day.